Hello and welcome to Barnes Takeout. My name is Nancy Ierson and I'm the Barnes Foundation's Gund Family Chief Curator. And I'm very excited because today we're going to look at one of the most important pictures in the Barnes collection and it's a personal favourite too. It's in the main gallery of the Foundation and it's one of the pictures that really welcomes you into the space. If you haven't guessed already, it's The Card Players by Cezanne. So it's beneath this wonderful painting by Seurat, which shows a group of models. And it's at our level. So if you can see where the floor is positioned, when we come into the gallery, it's almost as if we're invited to take a seat at that vacant side of the table. We see a group of farm workers playing cards. Uh, they're playing a game called Bézique, which was quite popular in the south of France, where, where these figures are set. And really, we are, if you like, human, it's a human scale painting. We, we seem to become part of the action and our attention is focused in on the game much as theirs is by a very balanced composition that, as I say, just draws the eye to the centre of the canvas. And here we have the painting in more detail. Now, we know that Cezanne probably made this work in the early 1890s. Uh, he was born in the south of France in 1839, so he's a mature artist at this stage. And for about 10 years, he seems to have been preoccupied with the theme of card players. It's quite hard to date Cezanne's works because he didn't exhibit them very often. Uh, he didn't sell them very often. So really he was working in the south of France at this point, really for himself, uh, exploring his own intellectual preoccupations. And it's really just thanks to a friend of his who had heard that Cezanne was painting farm labourers, that we have this, this tentative sense of when the, the actual work happened. And what can we say about these farm labourers. Well, Cézanne had inherited a country estate from his dad. His father had passed away. And so by this point, he's a landowner and the lands have to be worked. Uh, so what we see here are people who were employed by Cézanne in that capacity. And extra to that, he seems to have given them money to pose. How do we know that? Well, if we look to this figure on the left, who's wearing brown. We know that he is a man called Paulin Paulet. Uh, he appears in numerous paintings by Cézanne. And it's actually thanks to another figure around the table, this little child who just is peering in at the action, that we have this evidence. Uh, this child was a woman called Lyotin Paulet, uh, and you can probably guess by that last name that she was the daughter of Paulin. And she was interviewed in the 1960s, so far after this painting was made, about that experience. And she remembered that Cezanne paid her and her father, uh, you know, a few, a few francs just to, to sit. So we can imagine then that the other people around the table, uh, these men in, in blue in particular, were other labourers on the estate. Uh, it's quite typical for farm labourers of the 1800s and the early 20th century to, to wear these kind of outfits in France. And for that reason, it's, it's worth thinking that a general viewer in Cezanne's day wouldn't have understood these personal references necessarily. Uh, instead, what they would have seen is a picture that seems to test itself against the history of art. The theme of the card players was one that painters had addressed for centuries and centuries. Um, and really, Cezanne was interested in making work for prosperity, you know, having pictures that tested themselves against the great and the good. It's also worth considering that the, the theme of figures around a table was one that many artists used to explore the Christian theme of of the Last Supper of Christ and, and his apostles uh, having that last meal again around a table and the sort of poignancy of that. And although we, we don't have that subject here, we might wonder about the stillness of the scene, 
uh, the sort of seriousness of this game, um, having those kinds of association. If we look at the central figure, we see this rapt concentration. Um, we know that originally Cezanne had painted a hat on this figure, and he actually goes back in and changes that. You can see the way in which he's reiterated the line around the head. Uh, he's gone in and described the face, and I, I'm really drawn to the way he puts this touch of, of yellow at the corner of the eye just there, you know, just at the bridge of the nose. So we are invited to to engage with that figure and and to see what he's doing. Now, some scholars have also aligned this with uh, a disappearing way of life, uh, a rural life that was in jeopardy. And certainly as France came into a new century, uh, ways of life were changing. Uh, people were leaving rural areas like Aix-en-Provence, where Cézanne's estate was and where these farmers worked. And they were moving to, to, to metropolitan areas. But at the same time, we do see a painting that is, is very new. It is one that really signals its, its modernity through this extraordinary brushwork. You can see Cézanne really um, using all sorts of colours broken into, into this background, which one might imagine would be quite still. It, it's anything but. There's this vibrancy across the canvas. Um, everything is moving, and yet there's a real sort of fixity to the figures. And it's something that Cezanne went over time and time again. He created at least five major paintings on the theme of card playing. Ours is one of two multi-figure compositions. Uh, there's, there's a smaller version in the Metropolitan Museum. And he also made three where there are just pairs of figures playing cards. Um, Barnes fought hard and long to get this painting for his collection. It took several years of searching and negotiating. And when it did come to the Barnes Foundation in 1925, it became a real highlight of, of the Barnes collection. It still remains so today. I, I think it's an endlessly fascinating painting. And we're looking at it afresh because early next year, we're going to publish a catalogue of the Cezannes in the Barnes Foundation. So please watch out for that. And in the meantime, enjoy this picture. It is just so extraordinary. And if you're a card player, perhaps this will inspire you to take a little extra time out of your day to indulge in that hobby. And, and as I say, just, um, think of the, the wonder of Cezanne as you do so. He's uh, just such a fascinating painter. Thanks for tuning in to Barnes Takeout. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any comments, please do write them in. We're always delighted to know what you think. Take care and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. I'm Tom Collins, Neubauer Family Executive Director of the Barnes Foundation. I hope you enjoyed Barnes Takeout. Subscribe and make sure your post notifications are on to get daily servings of art. Thanks for watching and for your support of the Barnes Foundation.